the like. You would have to pick Ultra Two to prevent the flame. I, okay, he picks Ultra One. Yeah. I, I I don't know what the benefit of Ultra One is when you know that Ultra Two will shut down flame kick mix up. Yeah. I mean, we all saw Evo 2011. Ultra Twos are really good. Like those, those counter hit ultras, and this—I yeah, mean, it's not the same kind of ultra. But I really wonder why he prefers the ultra one. If he really just loves going for that guess, like, hey, he wouldn't have beaten Vance, right? If he didn't pick ultra one. Well, yeah. that's a very subjective thing to say. But you know, there's tools available to him, and I really wonder why he thinks it's better than ultra two. I think uh, the reason why he chose ultra one is because if he sees an opportunity to land, to land really big damage, yeah. ultra one is definitely his best bet. Because ultra two, that's while true. does limit. Uh, by First movement, it Plus doesn't do that much damage. Yeah. In person. I mean, like, it's like, good, but it's not Grappler Ultra One good. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, judging how Crizzle plays, he plays like he doesn't give a f. That's it's true. Very if you, if you yeah. have a good read on him, you can get that big damage. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it looks like a Crizzle took. Um, oh wow! Amazing air grab by nice reaction right there. Another one. Wow, these are crazy reactionaries. And those were both flame kicks Yeah, that, that he was gripping out of the air. You saw the flames in there. And I wonder if, if Kimo's really trying to react to those at any given moment. Okay. Usually when someone air grabs you uh, out, like just straight out of a move or an aerial, it should send a message to stop jumping. Yeah. But Crizzle is but, still maintaining yeah. a solid I mean, you know, game plan. It's that old school mentality of, well, dog, you're, you're really not going to think I'm going to do that again. So, like, yeah. Well, I'm doing it again. And right so there. Schemo. There it is. And, you know, I think at this point, wow. Crystal might think, all right, I'm being stopped right now. But, it, you know, you can't let one thing limit your options. But right now, Crystal's actually taking a lot of damage because of that. And Kimo might take this round back, but it would be extremely difficult. Oh no, he canceled the, the dive. Yeah, uh, the, the it, it seemed like he wanted to bait something out right there. Oh, and you can't block the flame kick with the oh. life left. He wanted, he wanted to get oil, but he canceled into the. Uh, yeah, the I wonder low if you can't. Do you, can you cancel it late you, you, and still get the oil? Yeah, yeah. That, okay. that was what he was intending, but he right. did too early. Okay, he did too early. Oh, and yeah, yeah, you lose the whole round after that. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Because he just kind of sat there. He's like, oh crap, I'm out of oil. Oh, went for the standing reset. That's not guaranteed after focus, is it? That's a reset, right? The, it's kind of like a meaty hooligan. Yeah, yeah. Way. So you, if, if he does it on your wake up, if he does it correctly. With a one frame meaty, yeah. There's, yeah. No, there's no real way for you to duck that. You need to do something with invincibility to get out. Invincibility, yeah. Or I've heard like crouching shorts. Yeah, or if you have a DP like that. Or something, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Invincibility. In, but, but Viper needs to spend bar in order to get out of that kind of mix-up. Like just do burning kick yeah. or yeah. whatever, EX seismo. Wow, that was a great read right there, knowing that Krizzle was going to jump after getting uh, the flame kick block. Yeah, looks like Kimo is uh, opting to go for more damage. Instead of air grabs, he's yeah. doing command grabs instead. He's like, hey, you know That's what? That's waiting until you get to the ground. Yeah, he's like, you know what? You're going to do burn kick. I'm not going to even do air grab. I'm just yeah. going to do command grab. Yeah. And now there's a 50-50. Now Chris was more inclined to jump after having the flame kick being blocked. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Communication or not communication? Execution error by Crizzle. A very and, rare miss. Uh, something interesting is that SPD actually was in range right there because he was oil and it has so much range. He was. Oh, oh wow! And that answers that question. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt big. Kimo's definitely gonna have a huge life lead. Hula hoops. Gets There's always oil. someone in the audience mimicking the ultra animation. Oh, and that oh. looks good. Responds right back with his own ultra. Wow. Oh. Kimo not happy about that. Yeah, Crizzle no. somewhere else. Maybe he'll chime in later. Both of these players aren't even smiling. Just. Yeah, very dead win. face, zero emotion. Don't think that that made me mad. I ain't mad. You mad? <laughs> very nice combo by Kimo. Yeah, Hakan's bread and butter is so fun to watch. It is a little slap, king, slap, king, slap, king, slap. King slide. <laughs> Got oil. Yep, there you go. Ah, oh, Kimo was in a good position, but he just lost the life lead. Crystal definitely staying on the ground a lot more this time around. I like Crystal's reaction to the wiggling of Hakan right there. Oh. Oh, and he wanted to hold it, but he didn't get anything out of it. And that's the end of it right there. I think there. he was waiting for a burn kick. He, waiting for a, a burn, burn kick. kick. He wanted, during the flash, he wanted to 